Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game. In the last episode, we made it to the den, which is apparently a den of thieves. I should be pausing just so we don't waste any time, uh, since we are in a time limit. We came to the den. We're looking for a man named Vic, who is a merchant of before-time things, which is these dummies' ways of saying... These dummies' way of saying uh, things from before the war, right? So we need to find a uh, Gek to save our tribal home. And we're looking for a man named Vic. That's pretty much all we got. This is a blind playthrough. And yes, I looked up, uh, I researched some things. But mainly the most, um, the most I looked was that, uh, the most I looked at was that, yes, there's a gun in Vic's shack. That's pretty much it. And then there's something called the Highwayman, which we could use to cut down on a lot of time. That's basically the two things that I actually looked into. Everything else is completely blind. I don't know what to expect. We have a bulletin board here. Den Bulletin. Maintained by Rebecca's Casino Bar. Best drinks in the den. Someone has scribbled something on the side of this post. Becky's a whore, misspelled, and her drinks is watered down. She's a crook and a liar. The writing is barely legible. All right. Slavers Guild. The Slavers Guild is the best and only supplier of slaves in the waste. For employment opportunities, buying or selling of slaves, see Slave Master Metzger. Special note, they are currently not selling slaves to the general public due to increased demand. Directions, the Slavers Guild is located on the east side of town past Becky's and Frankie's. Okay, return to the main page. Bars and gambling, two are listed. Rebecca's Casino Bar. Rebecca's Casino Bar has both gambling and great affordable drinks. Directions, I think it's right there, right? We're located just east of here. We are the first building on the left as you enter town. Be sure to come by and say hello. Frankie's. Frankie runs a bar in and pleasure business on the east side of town. Okay. Dining. Mom's is the only restaurant in the den. She's located on the east side of town, just south of the Slavers Guild. Dining. Yeah. Shops. There are three posts. Tubbies. We're looking for an antidote. Tubby sells all sorts of items, but primarily chems and ammo. She might have it. Directions uh, west of this bulletin board. So, I mean, we don't really need directions because we'll figure it out. Flicks. Various items out of his office in the, res in the residential building directly south from here and right below Rebecca's Casino Bar. Okay. Smitty. Smitty is the local mechanic. He sometimes has things for sale. There was a Smitty in the first game, and I wonder if it's the same guy. And it looks like that's it. All right. How do I get out of this? Exit. Okay, um, let's go to the shops first and foremost. Yeah, if they could have signs, that would be wonderful. Here's Tubby's. She sells chems, apparently, and ammo. Let's hope that she sells an antidote. Most people have not. We've got this kid here. Are you the same kid that's been following? Tubby's not very nice. All right, looks like a different kid. All right, who do we have in here? A jet whore. All right. The shop owner, a chem reliant, a chem reliant, and the kid. All right, let's talk to Tubby. Hello, sir, and welcome to Tubby's. I am the proprietor. May I help you? I need some information. What would you like to know? Who's in charge of this town? No one, I'm afraid. The den is an anarchur, an, an, anarchistic place where a kind of Darwinian struggle is played out. Only the strongest, fastest, or smartest will survive here. I'm sure you will find your niche. Uh, thanks. Why is everyone selling chems? That's not the kind of information I would just give away to anyone. What do you say you give me the information or I give you a new hole in the head? We're not going to say that. Would 100 bucks change your mind? That is not worth it. Or 50 is not worth it. No. Can I ask you something else then? Um, do you know where the vault is located? I have heard of a place called Vault City, but unfortunately I can't help you with the directions. You see, very few of us towns can provide, can offer acceptable exchange for the medical services they provide, so most of us have never been there. Okay, thanks. We'd like to barter, after all. Now, please have some antidote, dude. He's got Rataway. He's got, like, a Desert Eagle. Yeah, it's literally called a Desert Eagle. Sledgehammer. This stuff is going to be very expensive, though. I can tell. Buff out. Psycho. Jet. And some gold here. Well, I don't need chems. How much is this? It's probably going to be extremely expensive. Just one. Don't need both. 2,000 gold, yeah. Okay, 2,000 caps. Well, unfortunately, we are very strapped for cash, so we're not going to be able to afford that. First merchant is a no-go. Let's see. Who do we have here, and how the hell do we even get inside? Yeah, let's explore a little bit. There's a shack back here. Maybe there's some goodies. 
This game very much rewards you for just, like, exploring, basically. What do we have here? A greasy old coot. Hello there, young feller. What can old Smitty do for you? I swear, this is the same Smitty from Fallout 1. I could be wrong. I was just wondering what you do here. Mostly, I just keep watch over all this junk. Only got the the only got one thing work daily squat. What's that? Why well, it's none other than this Chrysalis Motors Highwayman. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. They used to say that nothing can stop a highwayman. They sure built them tough. I'd say th I'll say that for them. Wow, does it run? If it ran, do you think I'd still be in the shithole of a town? Uh, yes. Well, you're probably right. I got kind of settled in here. I see. I wouldn't mind selling the car, though. Someone brought me the battery. No, strike that. Uh, I guess I'd need a fuel cell controller. Yeah. If I had one of them, I'd sell the car for 2,000 caps. I guess it is dollars, though. Even install the controller so it'd run right. That sounds interesting. I'll have to come back if I ever find a fuel cell controller. Let me ask you something else right now. Hello there, young fella. What can old Smitty do for you? Um... All right, looks like that's it. So that's what I was talking about, folks. Yeah, the highwayman. Um, so it's a car. I didn't want to spoil it, but now we know. So if you get the car, you can actually fast travel, like, way faster. And it really cuts down on the time. So we're going to make that a priority. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't want to look further into that. I just uh, saw that that was a big tip, is that get the highwayman and get the first gun that you can, uh, which we did. Man in metal armor. And that's Brotherhood of Steel. It's a Brotherhood of Steel sign, isn't it? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, it's like a Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Autine. I'm Joshua. What can I do for you? How do you know my... Yeah, how do you know my name? Your recent activities have drawn attention to you. People talk and people listen and word gets around. You need to remember that you are only one small fish in an ocean of sharks, Autine. What do you mean by that? Let's just say that you're the new kid on the block and you don't know what's going on in the neighborhood. There's a lot more going on than your simple quest. Go on, I'm listening. I've said enough for now. I think you should get about your business. Wait, I need to ask you some questions. All right, you're allowed one question. What'll it be? Hmm, should we look for Vic? I mean, we know where he is, right? He's uh, well, he's somewhere around here. If we ask about the Gek, I guarantee he doesn't know. So let's ask about Vic. I'm looking for a trader named Vic. Do you know where I can find him? Vic has run awful afoul of the Slaver's Guild. You can find him there. Good luck, Atin. Wait, can you tell me where the Slaver's Guild is? And it just exits conversation. This guy... Okay, well, he was helpful. This is private property, so move along. You see a door of no visible hand or lock. Right? He clearly does not want me to go in there. So we need to find the Slaver's Guild. Because that's where Vic is. Enter the John U. Wine Haunted House. Oh, Jen U. Wine Haunted House. Well, let's hold off on that for now. Okay, we need to find the Slaver's Guild. Actually, wait, what's going on in here? There's just a guy... A short man with a thick mustache. Hello, welcome, salutations. I am the great Anonius. He offers you a slight bow with a flourish. I bring mysteries from near and far, friend. Mysteries from a world beyond our own of the netherworld. What kind of mysteries? I know things that mere mortal... A mere... What? I know things that mere mortal men... Man? <laughs> uh, is not meant to know. I... North... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got a little carried away there for a moment. I have tales of a ghost that haunts these very grounds as well as a genuine Egyptian mummy that you can see right here in this marvelous sarcophagus. I don't think I have any more time to waste on whatever it is that you're hawking. Yeah, not now anyways. No, 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 no. We entered combat. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, let's go find the slaver's guild. Let's make that a priority. What do we have here? A reliant... Why is, why is it calling them a Reliant? Let's head in here, see, what, so, uh, see what's inside of here. Customer? Oh, this must be one of the shops, then. A thin, greasy-looking man. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. I'm Flick. What the fuck do you want, huh? What's with the wacky accent, Flick? What you talking about? You think I'm a fucking stupid Perla? Some dumb philo de putana? You think I'm some kind of clown? Am I here to amuse you? Is that it? That's a, that's a line from Goodfellas. Uh, no, sorry. I was just curious. Let me ask you about something else. Now what? You're wasting my time, hey ya. I'd like to trade with you. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh my gosh, ammo and weapon. Dude, I really... Why does nobody have a freaking antidote, man? I don't even have money for this stuff yet. 
Actually, I'd like to ask you a question. Um... I'm looking for a vault. Oh, yeah, and some trader named Vic, too. Know where they might be. Vault, huh? Maybe Mama knows about that, because I don't. But that Vic guy, him, him I know. Metzger's got that Parka Pistola. Who's Metzger? That's Met that Metzger. He's a real Rompabali, that one. Runs the Slaver's Guild, east side of town, just north of Mama's. Anyhow, he got Vic, I know. Thanks, what about Mama? Mama runs a food place over in the east side of town, just past the graveyard. Nice place. She's got a pasta, Mama Mia. She's got good pasta, Mama Mia. Thanks, what about that Metzger fella that got Vic? That Metzger, he's a real- yeah, we already said this. Okay, that's all I need to know. Thanks, goodbye. I have the power? Are you a druggie? Probably. Alright, these people are just running around like crazy. Alright, we know where the- the- yeah, we already knew where it was, but, you know, I'm just asking- just asking people. We probably have to go through here, but... Uh, yeah, we'll save Becky's for later. Let's just go ahead and go to the east side of town. Who do we have here? A thug. A thug. A thug, but luckily they're not attacking me. Let's keep it that way. Okay, this is the east side of town. And what is this? The hole? Did we even hear talk about the hole? I don't know if we did. I'm assuming we did. Okay, let's find the proprietor. The owner of the hole. Here we go. I'm Frankie. Ah, it's Frankie's. And you're standing in the hole. Best damn bar for a hundred miles. Everyone crawls into the hole when it's time to let loose. Now, don't you be causing too much trouble, you hear? I hear ya. What's your pleasure? Info. Information I do not have. I thought bartenders know everything. Anything else? Yes. Okay, looks like he doesn't have any info for real. Alright, well thanks. Need that slaver's den. Oh, it literally says slaver's guild. Okay. Well, that was easy. So, this is probably going to be very, very, very tough here. If we can, we're going to speech our way out of it. Uh, yeah, guys, for those of you wanting more action and less exploring, um, I'm just getting the feel for the game, just like with Fallout 1. Uh, as I've said, things will go a little bit smoother and faster once I really know what I'm doing. Okay, let's head into the Slaver Guild. Hopefully they don't mind these fellas over here. So, Vic should be in here. Ah, fresh meat! Welcome to the Slaver's Guild. The name's Aiden. I'm calling him Aiden because I'm currently streaming Beyond Two Souls on Twitch, and there's a character in the game called Aiden, not Aiden. You here on business? You better be. What exactly does your guild do? You gotta be shitting me. We capture and sell slaves. That's what you're here for, right? You looking for some action? Do you know a man named Vic? Yeah, Vic. That merchant guy, right? The one that sells the old vault stuff. He's fucked. Metzger's pretty pissed with him. Who's Metzger? Damn, you don't know Metzger? What are you doing in this town if not to see him? He's the head of the Slaver's Guild. Can I see something else? Um, let's do the Vic thing. Oh, okay, that's a loop. Wait. Is he for sale? Not likely. That dumbass Vic pissed Metzger off about some radio or something, which we have. We have Vic's radio. I doubt that he'd sell him. You'll have to talk to him yourself. Where's Metzger at? He's in the back room right through the door over there. Okay. Well, thanks, pal. Who's this guy? A slave? This guy's a slave? Looks like uh, George Costanza. A mean-looking man. Well, that's probably Vic. Or, sorry, that's probably Metzger. Are these guys gonna let me through? Can I just, uh... Can I open this up? You guys mind? That's nice of you. What the fuck do you want? This is the Slaver's Guild, not some safe house for you fucking jetheads. Um... What can you tell me about your guild? What do you fucking think? This is a slaving guild. I buy and sell slaves. Where do you get the slaves? Oh, here and there. We mainly collect primitives and nomads when we run across them. That means tribal. So this guy is literally buying and selling our people. Maybe not our particular tribe, but people like us. I have another question. About Vic. He's the one that specializes in vault technology, or so he says. He's my property now. He's not going anywhere. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, uh, well, why are you keeping him here? That little fuck. He sold me a radio that he said would be able to pick up some transmissions. It didn't. I caught his ass trying to sneak out of the town before I found out. Bad mistake. Nobody fucks with me. He's lucky to be alive. What kind of transmissions are you talking about? The Enclave and New- Hey! What the hell do you care for? It's business. I need to be sure no one's trying to fuck me over. That's all you need to know. New? Huh. He's not talking about a certain- Military organization, is he? Okay. Alright, let's save the game here. I have a, f I have a feeling this could go very bad. 
We obviously need to save Vic. That's, that's clearly the first objective in the in the plot of this game. My voice didn't crack. You cracked. Can I see him? What for? Ah, fuck. Never mind. Just don't keep him from fixing that damn radio. And he better fix it soon. I'm sick of feeding his lazy ass. Okay. Thank you. Now. Where is he, though? Is he, like, back here or something? Someone let us out? Oh, he must... Oh, this is like a slaver pen. All right. Well, can we open this up? Touch that again and you'll lose a limb. But he said I could... Nothing but the slaves are back there. But he said I could go back there. Huh? He said we could see him. Um, but this guy's not letting me open the door. That's not a good sign. This is just a patio. Is there any other entrance to this? It's fenced in. No, it looks like this does lead to the slaves. Why would this guy not let us go through them? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Okay. Dude, he said I could go through here. Oh my god! What is going on? I'm gonna keep trying to open this even though... Unless they hit me. The door won't even open. Alright, let's end combat. Um, let's reload that save then. So... He agreed to let us go through. Uh... I don't understand. I have something I'd like to tell you fucking more on what do you think I am, a fucking store or something? If you got a slave you'd like to sell, let me know. If you want to sell something else, go to a fucking store. Can I see him? What for? Ah, fuck, never mind. Just don't keep him from... Yeah, so... Yeah, what for? Ah, fuck, never mind. Just don't keep him from fixing that damn radio. And he'd better fix it soon. I'm sick, sick of feeding his lazy ass. Sick of feeding his lazy ass. Thanks. Okay. Open the door now. What in the hell? Talk to Metzger, slave pens are off limits. He said I could see them. What is going on? All right, guys, let me figure this out. I have no clue. Should be able to go through. All right, folks. Well, I don't know if it's a bug or what. Um, I researched it a little bit, and yeah, it, it says you should be able to go through if you convince Metzger to let you go through. So I say about Vic. I say, can I see him? He says, what for? Ah, oh, fuck. Never mind. Just don't keep him from fixing that damn radio. It sounds like he wants me to see him, right? What kind of transmissions were you talking about? Yeah, but they don't let me go through. They won't let me go through, and I can't talk to this guy before or after talking to Metzger. He just says that. So then I try to open it, and he says, don't try that again. So, I, I have no idea if this is bugged or what. I don't know. Uh, we're going to reload this, though, and I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but it would be awesome if it did. And I feel like this game, you know, I feel like Fallout is all about um, being very crafty. So, maybe, can we just go to the fence and, like, talk to this dude? That would be wonderful. Because I noticed uh, this guy says, it says raggedy looking man, while everybody else is just like, you know, captive or whatever. Please be Vic. Oh my gosh. Well, I have no idea. Is this Vic? No, that's, oh, it's not even. So Vic must be actually inside then. Man, you would think they would like put like a little um thing that you could break or something, you know? Well, I have no idea what to do now. I literally have no idea. I know you can become a slaver and then go through. I mean, are we really going to have to do that? I, I don't understand why he just won't open the door. I mean, there's not like a guard I didn't talk to, right? That's like the guard leader or something. Slaver, slaver. Does this guy have anything? Wait, oh, oh, that's Vic? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's Vic. Oh my, okay. Okay, get me out of this. Let's reload this. Oh my... Okay, my bad. I was wondering why this guy looks so different than I just noticed the tools next to him. I, I just really thought he was in the pen with everybody else. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Mick, uh, Metzger. About Vic, can I see him? Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so now we should have permission. Um, and I don't think I talked to... Okay, let's... Let's... Uh, can you tell me about your guild? Where you get the slave? Sounds like fun. No. I have other questions about Vic, why are you keeping him, blah, blah, blah. All right. 
now. We should be able to go talk to him here. Oh my gosh. About Vic. His name's Vic, some merchant that broke something off my bosses. Of my bosses or something like that. Not too sure. Uh, the door's locked. Could you open it? Of course. I didn't know you wanted to talk to him right now. Sorry, I just thought you were curious or something. Thanks. Wow. What? <laughs> Very nice for a slaver. All right, finally. Oh my gosh. Would you tell him I can't? Wait. Who are you? You're not a slaver. What are you doing here? My name's Autine. I'm here to get you out. Wow, you'd do that for me? I'd do anything if you could get me out of this mess. Only problem is that Metzger's got me locked up in here until I fix this radio, and I don't have the parts I need. Can you use this radio I found? That's great. I'll have the radio fixed in no time. Okay, I'll talk to Metzger. Wow, okay. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Oh, you better make it quick. Uh, about Vic. Why are you keeping him here? What kind of transmissions? Well, he's finally got that damn radio to work, but it doesn't mean I'm going to let him off that easy. Maybe some money might clear things up. Sure, but it'll cost you a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, really? Um. Okay, I was kind of scared that that would happen. Let's go back and talk to Vic. Metzger's still quite upset with me, even though we fixed his darn radio. He's threatening to sell me off. I'd do anything you ask if you can get me out of this mess. Okay, I will. Thanks. Well, I... How are we gonna get a thousand... This guy's not saying anything. Let's actually reload that. Um, once again, we'll talk to Metzger. Get the permission. Go to this guy. Okay, talk to Vic. There are a lot of options here. I want to see if we have something else that we can do. Okay. Um, can you tell me where Vault 13 is? Yeah, I can probably tell you, but you got to get me out of here first. How do we do that? I've got to get this radio fixed. If you can help me with that, then maybe we can reason with him. Where can I get the parts? I know I can do it. I just need the spare parts. There is an old radio in my shack back in Klamath that has exactly what I need. You've been to Dutton's? My shack? Well, it was just east of that place. Uh, hmm, I'll be back. All right. We obviously have that. Um, maybe I can repair it. I know I can do it. I just need the spare parts. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he actually won't let me repair it. Um. Can you use this radio I found? That's great. I'll have the radio fixed in no time. I'll talk to Metzger. So it looks like we're forced to do this. This is really annoying. Okay. About Vic? What about him? Why are you keeping him here? Well, he's finally gotten that damn radio to work, but it doesn't mean I'm going to let him off that easy. Maybe some money might clear things up, sure, but it'll cost you a thousand dollars. Can I ask you some questions first? Yeah. Um, let's see. What can you tell me about the guild? Where do you get the slaves? I have another question. Uh, about Vic. Why are you keeping him here? The transmissions. He doesn't want to talk about it. Okay. Well, apparently we need a thousand bucks to get this guy out of here. And I have no idea how the hell we're going to do that. Really thought it was going to be as simple as just kind of figuring out where to go, but it's clearly not. We're going to need to actually find a way to get a thousand dollars, which seemingly is very difficult. Um, so the only way I can think of doing that is just exploring and talking to people and doing side quests. So let's head to Mama's. Uh, just keep exploring the den, see if Mama's got anything to say. Kindly looking older woman. Hello there, my name's Mom and I run this place. Got the best food north of New Reno, too. You're not my mom. <laughs> Have you heard of a vault or anyone named Vic? Well, now there's a vault city a ways east of here and a little north. And Vic? Hmm, let me think. I sure hope you know where Vic is. He's a traitor? Traitor Vic? Now that rings a bell. Yes, I think he's being held by Metzger for some reason. Well, we know that. Where's Metzger? Where do I find him? We know. Thanks for the information. Need to ask you something else? What's there to do in town? Well, I just need someone to deliver a meal to Smitty. He's just west of here at the junkyard. Will you do it for me? I'll give you a free meal if you do. Sure, I don't mind. Thanks so much. I'd do it myself, but there's nobody to watch the place while I'm gone. Here's Smitty's meal. If I didn't have it, I if I didn't have it brought to him, I'm sure he'd forget to eat. I'll bring it right over to him. All right, so things like that. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of money out of this or anything like that, but um, you know, I, that's the best way I can think of. Short of. Uh, Doing some extensive research. What the hell is going on here? A guard? A guard? Oh, Tyler. I think there was a guy named Tyler in the first game. Who the hell are you and what do you want? Metzger sent me? What the hell for? His stuff's not going anywhere. He wanted me to check it for him. Sure he did. I've never seen you around here before. Now beat it. Let me in there now before I have to get angry on your face. Okay. 
Oh, so this is like Metzger's stash or something. Interesting. Well, we'll definitely get killed if we try to get in there. No, can't find it? Why are you saying interesting things if you actually have nothing to say, lady? Okay, let's go give this to Smitty. Um, I think he was, yeah, over by the junkyard. Uh, it's probably good to make the highwayman a priority. I don't have any idea where to start. Because he wants a uh, fuel capacitor or whatever the hell. Jumpin' Jiminy. Jumpin' Jiminy, what can I do for you now? Uh, let's see. I brought you... I brought your meal from Mom's. That was mighty darn kind of you. Thanks, mucho compadre. Here's a little something for your trouble. It'll come in handy around these parts. He hands you a stim pack. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Smitty. No problem. See you around. 150 experience points as well. Okay, let's see. Um, wondering about that car you had for sale. Okay, we need $2,000. Jeez. The fuel cell controller for you. Wait, we literally need to give him just $2,000 first? All right. Well, let's keep exploring, I guess. I have no direction, basically. Uh, let's see. There was, like, a quest thing, if I remember right. Uh, we are very close to a level up as well. Yeah, if we go over here and do, like, archives, I think. Elder Speech Vault Suit Recovery. Oh, that's... Status? Yeah, I think it's this. Den? Yeah, here we go. Free Vic from his debt by getting his radio from his house in Klamath and paying Metzger. Well, we need a thousand gold for that. Get car part for Smitty, so we need the part first. In Klamath, we've got nothing. In Arroyo, retrieve the Gek, which is the main quest. So we've got really nothing. We need to find unique looking people to talk to to get some quests, basically. This guy's mean. I guess let's go to, yeah, let's go to the, the town, the House of Wonders or whatever. Maybe there's something here that we can do. Okay. What kind of mysteries? Let's hear about the mummy. No, my friend, a mummy straight from the sands of ancient Egypt to the sands of the wastes, exclusively for you to see. Okay, I'll bite. How much to see the wizened corpse? For a person of your obvious class, I would be happy to show this unique and historic specimen to you for a mere $25. Hmm. Should we do it? Let's leave for now and let's save, just in case this is literally just a complete waste of money. We need all the money, money that we can get, obviously, at this point. Okay. I'll cough up the dough now. Show me the mummy! Simply open the sarcophagus lid and the marvelous mummy will be revealed in all its ancient glory to you. But please, no touching and uh, no flash photography. Great. There you go. The mummy. The door, to the, sarcophagus, yeah, the door to the sarcophagus swings open to reveal a desiccated corpse that looks very much like an ordinary ghoul standing in a poorly painted, chipped and cracked paper mache sarcophagus. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic, I guess. You look at the mummy very intently for a while. Uh, thanks. Goodbye. We get nothing from that. There's a sarcophagus right here. Okay, let's do the other one. Um, I've just got to hear that ghost story. Uh, do I get a nice hot cup of cocoa to go with it? Well, you see, he mentions you closer, motions you closer. There was once a great queen that ruled all of the surrounding town. She kept her throne by virtue of a special amulet that she kept around her neck at all times. Great stuff, huh? Uh, yeah, you bet. So this princess had a magic amulet. Oh, do go on. I just can't stand this level of suspense much longer, yawn. Well, I'll cut to the chase then. So the evil wizard poisoned the young princess and took her amulet. She's been wandering around the room next door ever since. Well, uh, that is just at the witching hour anyway. That's why I keep the door locked. Pretty darn scary, huh? The ghost of an amuletess princess in the trash room next door? That's it? I can't believe you're peddling that as a story. I'd rather hear about this stupid mummy you're supposed to have here. No, my friend, a mummy straight from the sands. Yeah, he's already said that. Okay, uh, looks like there's no point to this. In fact, can't we just go into the door this way? So let's actually load the game since that was a complete waste of $50. As I figured it'd be. But I feel like there has to be a point to this. I mean, they programmed all of this in. Can we head into this way? We can. Now let's loot the bookcase. And he's got a shovel. All right, just in case the shovel comes in handy. Anything else here? Can we loot? Oh, we can. All right. Nothing in the desk. But this looks like a big old desk. Nothing. Come on, man. All right, folks. Well, I mean, what is this? A 
the chair. Uh, you know what? Just to see what happens. Let's try opening this. Appears to be locked. Got just the thing. You failed to pick the lock on this, on this door. Well, that's okay. We should be able to try again. I don't know if it'll actually open or not, um, but we should be able to pick it. I mean, we've got 53 lockpick. There we go. All right, let's see what he says now. Um, what kind of mysteries? Ghost story. Looks like nothing changes. Okay, so this is just a big waste of time. All right. Well, ladies and gents, um, yeah, we didn't get too much accomplished in this episode. Uh, I think I'm going to have to actually like start researching this game because I don't have a direction, really. I mean, there's really nothing I can do except for talking to everybody. Um, but I'm going to try to keep it as blind as possible. If I can just go around talking to people and get some sort of quests and get $1,000, I will. I don't know how we're going to get that much money, though. I just don't. Um, we can obviously find stuff to sell, but... I don't know if it's going to amount to $1,000 to free our friend, uh, our friend Vic, which is obviously where this game wants me to go. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'll tell you. I'm going to promise you I'm not going to spoil anything for myself. Just, I mean, uh, the only thing I'm going to do is maybe get some direction. Like, you know, maybe you should go talk to this guy. And then I'll go talk to him and see what happens. Uh, but I'll try to explore a little bit at the start of the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.